G'day Gemini, welcome back to TJ Tarot and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you, is it now? Let's go. Give me three cards to start with for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist, there's heaps of videos there. Let's see if something resonates for you there. We're all in different timelines, so just keep that in mind. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Gemini right now. So, yeah, just be aware of that. You may not be the only one. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Because, yes, that's a courtesy. Clarify card three, please. Because I've watched other readers and I'm like, oh, I love that deck, I wonder what it is. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I tell you. And it's not listed, so that's annoying. <laughs> So I list them. <laughs> Three more for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend. And first card to go on the floor. Oh. Of all the readings. Oof. It's a big stretch. Oh. Cool. <clears throat> oh. Definitely hurt my back. Okay. And my side. Anyway. Clarify card one in row two, please. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you're remembering to spoil yourself with something nice, Gemini, because you deserve it. And these don't want to talk. Clarify card one in row two, please. Thank you. I don't read reversals either, in case you're new. Clarify card two in row two, please. <coughs> Sorry. Clarify card three in row two, please. Okay. All right, let's begin, Gemini, Gemini. We have, ooh, hunt hard conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, and we got a heap of cards. All right, so they want to talk about Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, ooh, Knight of Swords, and the King of Wands. Ooh, so talking about an option, some heartbreak, someone being cut out. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> the confusion and the, of the heartbreak of being cut out and having to control their actions and passions. Ooh, okay. Oh, Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. They wanted to come correctly. Queen of Swords. Well, that's you, isn't it? Yeah, the Queen of Swords guards her heart with that sword. You have to come correctly towards the Queen of Swords or you don't get any love. Wanting to come correctly now that they've controlled their actions to offer something long-term st long and stable, long-term stability. I want to talk to you about it now. Mmm, after the confusion of the heartbreak and... Taking truthful action to control their passions. Okay, so they might have had other options that caused heartbreak. You cut them out and they've learnt to control their passions and actions, become more mature. Now wanting long-term love with you is what they want to talk about. Mm. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. 
and we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, while you're in separation, they were doing a, quite a bit of flirting. Acted very immature in their actions. Passionate communication. Yeah, they, um, yeah, that's why the King of Wands is there. But yeah, while you've been separated, they, well, perhaps that's why you separated, because they were flirting with other people. <coughs> very immature in their actions and passions. Mm. Wedding. Woof. This situation involves marriage, so they definitely want some sort of commitment now. The Fool, a new beginning. The Chariot. The Lovers, wow. And the Nine of Swords. So, they're wanting a new beginning here, something that charges forward triumphantly towards a soulmate connection, or a divine com connection. They can't sleep at night thinking about you in this new beginning that <laughs> involves a commitment. Yeah, they can't sleep at night. Wow, okay. Let's keep going. Wild Rose Fairy, love, ooh, beautiful cards. We've got Faith, which is the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, <laughs> and the Knight of Swords again. So, yeah, they love you. They want to have a real commitment with you because they're in love with you. And they want to come charging back a Flying back in these wings. And speak that truth. I'm also hearing that they've cut everything else out of their life. Taken the action to cut out the things that don't serve them. Because they want this love with you. Eagle spirit freedom. Hmm. We have the Palace of Coins and the Six of Cups. So we've got a home of stability, a home of abundance, a home of growth and abundance and stability. Very beautiful home. And the past. Memories of love. They still remember the love between you two. Freedom, though. What is this freedom? I think that they... They either didn't like their freedom in this separation of acting immature and they want something that is now a home of stability with that beautiful love, make memories of love in, love and happiness, and remember, remembering the love that you used to had and the stability. And I think it was quite stressful for them. I don't think they enjoyed that. The freedom, I don't think they felt as free as that, that as what, the, as, as free and stable as they did in something that was more stable in the past with you. Yeah, I'm feeling two sides of this freedom. Like they had actual freedom to do what they wanted. But it's been... They can't sleep at night just thinking about being with you. And that's where they would feel more spiritually free. The eagle spirit. Whereas they felt confined and, and frustrated without you. And then Water Spirit, Manifesting Dreams. 
Oh, if you're their dream. Isn't it cute, Otta? Isn't it so cute? Ooh, eight of swords. Wow. Five of, oh, sorry, four of cups. Oh, nine of swords. Wow. Four of coins. And the palace of wands. Yeah. They want to manifest this. this you are their dream. They're stuck in their head about making an offer towards you because they can't sleep at night thinking about how they held back and caused nothing but a home of drama. Living in a home of drama. <laughs> Might have been passion, but it was a lot of drama is what I'm hearing. And their dream is to offer something to you and you to accept that offer of something stable. Yeah, they can't sleep at night knowing that they held back and caused all this drama in the, in a home with you. And it was their freedom of choice in the past not to appreciate that home of stability that you had off on, offered them before. Now they want it. <laughs> uh, bottom of the deck. I know I messed up everything. Yep, that's right. They know they messed up big time because they had something awesome with you, Gemini. All right. What would this love energy like to say to Gemini, please? I love your smile. Oh yeah, they love it when you smile at them. They don't like it when you when you don't when you <laughs> when you're angry with them or you not. Yeah, they love it. They light up when you smile. I blamed you, but it was me. See, they know. They know they messed up. They know taking responsibility for what they did now. Their part. Yeah, and it broke their heart. And this was the thing. It breaks their heart. And your energy heals me. See, this is the stability that, and the freedom of feeling. And I don't think it's, well, the broken heart is what they want you to heal. <laughs> and not have, not love them anymore. Um, but yeah, this is that. This is where the fr they had real freedom of a real life. Stability and love and the memories of that beautiful love made them feel amazing. Your energy. Wow. But they broke their own heart, didn't they? Mm, now they want to come back and talk about it all. The heartbreak, which is up there, the Three of Swords. Yeah, and how they now want something long-term and stable with you, a commitment with you, a home of stability, full of memories of love, <coughs> instead of the drama and nightmare that they're living in right now. Yeah, well, they definitely still love you. And if you still love them, they'll come flying back. So. What is the saying? You don't appreciate what you've got till it's gone? Yeah, this is a, one of those. They didn't appreciate it when they had you, and now that you're gone, they realise what they had, so. Hmm. Alright, well that's your reading, Gemini. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment below. Uh, that would be awesome. Yes, I'm finally pointing in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're all amazing. Okay, well, all the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.